Greetings, I'm David Horseman, Associate Commissioner of the Office of Career and Technical Education at the Kentucky Department of Education. On behalf of all the secondary CTE students, teachers, and administrators across the Commonwealth, it is my honor to wish you a happy and celebratory National CTE Month this February. We know the impact that CTE has on students' career preparation, interpersonal growth, and leadership development, but who better to tell us about CTE's impact than our students themselves? Let's take a look at how they are leading in their schools and communities across Kentucky. Community service is vital to the world we live in, and Kentucky DECA takes pride in the amount of community service we have been involved in this year. As many of you know, Kentucky was hit pretty hard by a very devastating tornado earlier, and Kentucky DECA was very quick to become involved in raising money and awareness for this issue. We donated monetary donations as well as gift cards, and we took a lot of pride in being there for our fellow DECA members, but also community members. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about our service project this year, Spin for Stephen. Kentucky FBLA is going to be partnering with the Stephen Van Hover Foundation, and the Stephen Van Hover Foundation was established in 2015 to preserve the legacy of Stephen Daniel Van Hover, and that raises awareness for rare forms of cancer, particularly sarcomas, and to fund the education of local students. It was created to preserve the memory of someone who truly embodied what it meant to live and to love freely, and to raise money to support the cutting edge research that will bring about better treatment options for a cure for sarcoma. Spin for Stephen will be hosted at the Louisville Slugger Baseball Field this year on April 2nd, 2022. Our goal is to raise over $60,000 and host over 8,800 cyclists from the UFL and Greater Louisville community. Participants will, encourage, will be encouraged and engage in 15-minute sessions on a stationary bike led by the members of the Pi Kappa Alpha Fraternity. Since the 2020 State of Faith Convention could not be held in person, all state contests were held utilizing virtual platforms. Our state officer candidates completed online interviews and were even elected during a virtual business session. The 2021 State of Faith Convention was held as a hybrid event. Contests were held virtually and award finalists were invited to attend the awards program. Sessions were broadcast live on YouTube so that FFA members, parents, and sponsors could all be involved. As we look towards this summer and beyond, we're working to improve opportunities for FFA members while keeping everyone healthy and using all of the tools at our disposal to accomplish our mission of growing leaders, building communities, and strengthening agriculture. TSA allows me to explore science, technology, engineering and math, or STEM concepts every day, both inside and outside of the classroom. These disciplines impact the workforce by producing critical occupations like microbiologists, networking computer architects, and health and safety engineers. I'm proud to know that my CTE experience is preparing me for high skill, high wage, in demand career opportunities. Through the SkillsUSA mission of empowering members to become world-class workers, leaders, and responsible world citizens, I get the chance to grow my interpersonal skills, technical skills, and workplace skills, while also earning valuable industry certifications and credentials desired by business and industry leaders. I know these opportunities will make me a more productive and skilled employee someday, and it's helping me to see the importance of citizenship and service learning in my community. Personal growth and leadership development are crucial to all aspects of one's life. That's why Family and Consumer Sciences and Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America teaches student leaders like myself to address important personal, work, and societal issues by placing emphasis on family relationships, nutrition, fitness, parenting, sustainability, substance abuse, and peer pressure. FCCLA students develop skills for life, such as goal setting, interpersonal communication, and problem solving. The Teaching and Learning Career Pathway and the Educators Rising CGSO allows Kentucky to support the recruitment of a diverse and effective educator workforce with an emphasis on a grow your own approach with high school students like me. As a future educator, Educators Rising and the Teaching and Learning Pathway provides me with real life experiences like developing sample lesson plans and classroom observations, while also allowing me to get a jump start on my teaching degree through dual credit opportunities with one of our approved education preparation providers. 
Work-based learning is an integral component of the CTE experience where students engage in the world of work. These experiences can vary from job shadowing, internships, student enterprises, co-ops, and even registered youth apprenticeship programs. My own personal work-based experiences through my health science clinicals assured that I had the chance to be taught and mentored by healthcare professionals while practicing the skills necessary to obtain both my Medicaid nurse aide and pharmacy technician certifications. Career and Technical Education. Preparing today's leaders for tomorrow's workforce and economy. Early post-secondary opportunities. Work-based learning. Leadership development. Community service and citizenship. What is your empowered CTE story? Happy National CTE Month, Kentucky.